In this video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 tips, the same tips that I give to my high-end CEOs, Olympians, and those that are already performing, but they want to get to that next level. These are also the same things that took me from a procrastinator into someone who was able to be more focused, uh, manage my time more effectively, and really take action so I could get amazing results. Take my company from zero to a million dollars in 18 months and be able to live my dream life here in Del Mar, California, having moved from the UK. So I wanna dive straight into it. And if you find the video useful, obviously please hit the like button and also subscribe if you are not a subscriber to the channel. So first of all, the number one tip I wanna give you is about cultivating energy. You know, the CEO of LinkedIn talked about this on Friday and he said, one of the key attributes now for leadership is cultivating energy. And the reality is, is that if we don't do that as a leader, then it's not going to be felt by the team. And so it's absolutely key that we not just cultivate it, but also are able to check in when it's low. And that is about um, our own attunement with ourselves. It's about the connection with ourselves. So if you struggle right now to really sense and feel, maybe you're not able to feel your emotions, understand that you may also not be able to fully connect with where your energy is at. And that can also lead to a lack of connection and attunement with other people. The next one, number two, which is linked to that, which is emotional regulation. At the end of the day, if our emotions are stable, then we are gonna perform better. We are gonna be more focused. We're gonna be able to be in that zone, that zone of flow, right? Flow is when time passes and you're just super productive and you're in that place of hyper productivity. And so emotional intelligence, which is you know, called a soft skill, I don't like that name, but it's absolutely critical to develop your emotional intelligence. You do that through self-awareness, you do that through hiring coaches and you say something and they bring awareness to something that you struggle with. You know, for example, I had social anxiety, so I had to develop my emotional intelligence uh, to be able to go out and connect and be able to develop business connections and do all of those things. So if we are reacting to a situation versus responding to a situation, then what's gonna happen is we're gonna shut people out from our lives. And that happens in the business world, but it also happens in the personal world too. So we've got energy and then we've got emotional regulation. Both are in intertwined. The, thirst, the third one, which is the window of opportunity. You know, out here, I'm looking right now and I'm here in Del Mar and I can see the ocean and when the surfers are out there, they're out there every single day. It's really cold right now, but they're still out there. You know, it's like, uh, imagine a surfer going out and there are great waves, but the surfer chooses not to stand up on the board because maybe there's fear, right? So during your day, there are pockets of energy that open and they close. Sometimes you feel good, sometimes you don't feel good. As you work more on yourself and you commit to personal growth, then what you're gonna find is that energy is higher a lot more frequently. But if you're in a stage right now where you're having low energy for whatever reason, then understand that, that when the pockets of energy do come, like the wave that comes for the surfer, it's a choice to stand up on the wave. It's a choice to ride it into the beach. And so we don't get sometimes when we're in pain, right? When we've got things going on personally in our, in our personal lives, sometimes those pockets of energy are few and far between but just understand that energy is there to give you the energy to take action right when you're inspired by something that's the time to move forward when you see an inspiring video that's the time to reach out and and hire that person that you read that book right you've got that inner inner excitement about it right use that as a window of opportunity because it's there to guide you into your next um, you know uh, stage of life and stage of evolution as an entrepreneur. The next one, which is, I, I said, one key belief. So in my program, the Super High Performance Formula, I teach um, and I, I, I have a training around belief shifting and we cover lots of different areas. But what I'd encourage you to do is look at the one belief that's holding you back from high performance or what I call super high performance, right? What is the one belief? And, you, and you've got to sit with that. 
right? You've got to say, okay, I have a certain belief right now about myself that's really st stopping me from breaking through to the next level because a plateau, if you're in a mental plateau, what breaks you through is the stories that we create and the beliefs that we have because of those stories. So it's absolutely key to, to look at our beliefs because what you've got you here won't get you there, okay? The next one is past events. So a lot of entrepreneurs think that, okay, I need to just focus on my to-do list, right? In order to be more productive, but they still don't get things done. Why is that? It's because the events in the past have not been resolved. And so understand if you have rage and anger and you've not forgiven yourself or other people, sometimes you're unaware of it, but these things really do at a massive level impact productivity, focus, happiness, taking action. When we clear those things out, and I use this phrase a lot, which is a balloon cannot rise if there are weights holding us down. When we clear those things out, it frees up more energy in the nervous system for action. Very, very key. The next one is sleep. And um, it's obviously important because of energy. Sleep is directly linked to energy. So if you don't get a good night's sleep and you've been up late at night, right? For example, if you've been using Clubhouse really late or you've been working on a project late and it's now two in the morning and you've got to be up early, well, you're going to really impact your productivity and performance level the next day. So you really have to sense and feel your body when it's telling you to go to bed. Also, get your phone out of your room because, you know, if I, for example, wake up and then I quickly look at my phone, but I haven't had enough sleep, I'm, it's going to impact uh, my brain, right? I'm gonna get that dopamine hit and then I'm not gonna go be able to go back to sleep. So turning off uh, you know, the Wi-Fi, going into airplane mode, just not having anything mental that you're going to, because if it's there, you're gonna reach for it. A big part of high, uh, high performance is also removing distractions. So if your phone is always there and you're always gonna to go to it, you don't have a, ho a chance in hell of being productive if you've got things in your actual environment that are pulling you away, right? Pings going off, notifications, all of this. It sounds simple, but you've got to take the action and, and remove the things that are going to stop you from being productive. The next one I, I wrote down called the dream team. If you want your team to perform better, right? I was working with a very successful CEO and uh, his team was not respecting him. Then you're going to need to connect with them at a deeper level. So all of the things I've listed are very important, but one of the things that you can do and find out and, and just ask them is what is your dream? You know, when you find out what someone's dreams are and you actually give a shit and you actually care, right? There, there's a connection that happens. And if you want to really have someone perform at the higher level, help them get there. Don't be attached to, you know, whether they're going to part ways with your company or, or not. Our, our goal in life is to help people evolve and grow. Trust me, it will come back tenfold, right? If you really, truly help someone. And actually, they'll stay with you longer if you really... Uh, do uh, do care about them because people leave you lo you lose your a players right because they don't feel uh, valued they don't feel understood and ultimately they, they, they feel a lack of connection if you're losing your team members you have to look at your own connection and therefore the connection with your team the next one which plays into that which is authentic connection there are so many entrepreneurs out there very successful people, but they, they struggle with authenticity. They struggle, they've built up a life, I did it myself, they built up a persona of, of someone that's not actually who they are. They struggle to express their emotions. And when you break through that and you truly start to live more and more authentic life, you're gonna perform at the next level because you feel like yourself. You know, there's a great uh, quote from Joe Dispenza, it takes a lot of energy to not be yourself. So by not being authentic, energy is being taken away, drawn away, and then it stops you from actually performing. The next one, which is um, focus. So it is a big word, right? What do you need most? I need to be focused. I struggle to be focused. Well, that is directly linked to the overactive mind. So if you struggle with focus, there's too much happening up here and you need to settle down into your body and into the space of your heart. And that is done through meditation. You can check out meditations on this channel, also on Insight Timer. And also in my Super High Performance Program, I take entrepreneurs, CEOs, Right? And they go from 10 minutes through to an hour and they go deeper and deeper and deeper and strip away all the parts of them so that they can perform better. Now that's not the only part of the program, but it's a key fundamental, a key core component as it should be in your life, as it is in my life. I know when I'm off, I've got to go close my eyes, got to spend time in meditation, but I don't just use it as a reaction tool. I use it as a baseline tool. 
right, for performance, you have to start looking at meditation in, in the link between that and performance and revenue growth and business. And uh, most, I have to say, uh, more are starting to, but most people don't do that. Um, and the next one, which is just like a baseline, which is exercise. I see a lot of people there, and uh, you know, and I'm, I've, uh, you know, gone in these in these kind of uh, dips, right, uh, with exercise and nutrition. If you are not, if you can just look at yourself right now, right in the mirror, and just say, look, and just assess and have an honest conversation with you, that comes to self-respect, right? That impacts your performance, and it also is a is a insight into your self-discipline, not the discipline in your business and, and what you're doing, but self-discipline. In, but when it comes to performance, you have to have self-discipline. So you, you want to start with the basics, right? Get the basics down first, like eating clean, right? Which is going to change your thinking and, and going to um, impact the brain fog, for example. Most people don't understand that. You clean up your diet fully and you're going to reduce that brain fog. Then exercising. I had the ability to exercise taken away from me recently with the medical condition which I had, which I shared on the, on the channel recently. Um, and now I'm being able to get back to that. But what saved me with my um, with my uh, with my weight, right? What saved me with my mindset was cleaning up the nutrition. But if you are able to exercise, then then what really helped me was a, a mental shift around saying, like, I'm going to be in the best shape of my life. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to work and train the best that I can be because I want to perform at the optimum level. So. You also have to look then at self-sabotage, right? Why am I choosing to eat those foods? And it's all emotional. It's all linked to, again, our emotional intelligence. So if you found this video useful, please do hit the like. I'd love to uh, answer any of your questions in the comments. Um, you can uh, just uh, post a question now and I'd love to uh, create more videos and content around this topic of high performance. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to uh, have you on the channel. And uh, yeah, if you are an established um, business owner or entrepreneur, CEO, and you wanna do a deep dive into performing by stripping away the things that are holding you back and going into a conscious leadership uh, quest, then check out the super high performance formula, simonlovell.com slash SHP. I'll also put the links down into the description. Um, and also there's some other links too. For example, if you're going through burnout um, and there's lots of different things available if you wanna do that deep dive uh, beyond the content here. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a fantastic week wherever you are in your week and um, do the best that you can. Serve deeply and uh, trust me, things will start to shift for you even if not, you're not where you want to be. Take care. Bye.